Hi, okay, so <clears throat> to start with, um, I've uh, cut a piece of cane here. Now, I need to just fit it into the shooting block because the rails are set at, on this one at 14 millimeters apart. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm just going to trim the piece of cane to the required width so it fits neatly in there and I can either sand that into shape or I can uh, use a little mini gouge mini, mini plane which works just as well So that it fits snugly inside the uh, inside the rails. I'm going to trim the width of the reed down later, but for now I just want it to fit inside the the gouging block. So since the rails are set above the inside surface of the gouging block, I can't gouge any deeper than then the block will allow me so at some point it'll stop taking material off and I'll know that I've finished the gouge There you go. Now if I if I measure that that'll be approximately 1.6 millimeters thick at the center. And that's what I've set this particular shooting block up to. And uh, it'll be even along the whole length. So I might just at this point sand it. I'll just zoom out now so that you can see better and uh, refocus. Now I want this slip now 12.7 millimeters so I want it half inch and I want it even along the length. I want it the same, same thickness down the whole length. So I'm just taking it off down both sides. Now if I look at the side of the reed there, it's going to be a nice even thickness on both sides and if I look at the length it's going to be a nice even shape down the entire length as well. So I'm getting close, that's just just finishing it off. Yeah. Ideal. So now I just need to finish it on my sanding block. Now I've set this up at uh, <coughs> it's 45 millimeters in diameter my standard sanding rod. And by the time it's got a bit of sandpaper on it that brings it down to well, it brings it up to about 46 or 47 millimeters diameter. Now I find that's perfect for my style of reeds. Some people might prefer different diameter sanding block that uh, seems to be personal preference. So, at least for the reed um, pattern that I provide with this kit, works perfectly with this diameter of sanding block. So, I just touched it with a coarse sandpaper to start with, and um, I'm just finishing off with here with 240 grit <coughs> fine sandpaper now you can change the sandpaper on these uh, sanding rods at any time by taking out this center slip sandpaper will come off put another piece in 
and then just use this to hold it back in place, no glue required. So I'm looking for a nice even smooth surface on the on the inside of the claim. <coughs> I find if I wet my finger I can hold the whole length of the of the cane and rub evenly down the, the entire length of the cane slip. Now I'm looking for a thickness in the middle of about 1.1 millimetres. That's looking pretty close. And so long as it's even, thickness at both ends as well, that, that should be fine. Let's get in really close now. There's just a couple of marks I wanna, wanna get out. So I'll go for those. Now it's, It's close to being ready now. I can see that looks pretty good. So, uh, working on the sanding block. So, I'm just rounding the edge off very slightly there. Not a lot, but just a fraction, so that it helps to seal the edge when I'm working it later. I'm going to drop this in some water now for a, a minute. I'll get some water. I'll just leave that to soak for a minute or so. And all I'm doing there is just to well, I want to raise the grain on the inside of the cane. So, and it's common practice in woodwork. I, I believe if you want to get a fine finish, you you wet it and then you just sand it back, and uh, that raises the grain. And when you sand it back, it just takes off the little bits that stick up. And my theory is that when you when the reed suffers. Um, various different um, atmospheric conditions that later on in its life it'll if it gets finds itself in a damp environment you it is less likely <coughs> to raise the grain on the inside of the reed so it should make a more stable reed so let's just wetted it slightly and I'm going to finish off now by just rubbing it back again. Looking good. I'll um, I just run my finger or thumb down the length of the reed at this point. I can feel any any uh, unevenness or any coarseness in the surface. So you can often feel it better than you can see it at this stage. And I'll check the, uh, the thickness again. I think we're about there with this, with this slip. It should be just right. 1.1 1 .1. 1.1 yep yeah, ideal so the only thing I need to do now is just get the width of the slip accurate so I'm looking for 12.5 12.7 one inch remembering that the, the, the cane might uh, might flatten out a little bit as I tie it together, so just round off that inside corner just a fraction and unroll it on the sandpaper. That's the basic slip prepared.